a bunch of messages next to me, like, saw you in Tom Kubat's video. I'm like, yes, yes, I show these people's videos. <laughs> Every time I'm in Tucker's video. I've got, look at this, I've got all the sidekicks. <laughs> this is a big deal. <laughs> Okay, so today um, is my last day here, and I was gonna pack up and go home, but I'm gonna try something new today. We have a prototype electric paramotor. It's a test bed that Aviator is using to test out some of the electric paramotor um, stuff. And I'm gonna go and fly it, so I'm gonna set up my wing. It poured last night, so try not to get everything too wet, and then I'm gonna go up. See you guys up there. Um, uh, I'll probably go forward, just go slow. Okay. Is on. Throttle is on. Okay, off. On. On. Receiver in. Master on, clear prop. Okay, check for full throttle. We got it. <laughs> okay, so this is take two. Um, first one, the receiver died. Again, the final product will not have a receiver. It'll have a, a wired throttle. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Hey, Ross, is there a kill switch for when I land or I just stay off the throttle? Okay. It's on my left side, the red key? Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, electric paramotor test bed. <laughs> oh, yes! Woo! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to gain some altitude because uh weather's not great either this morning. Yes! <laughs> Very cool, man! Okay, so, this is my first ever electric paramotor flight. Um, and this is the test bed that Aviator is working on. They just testing some things out, and uh, I don't know why I'm so nervous, a, but I am. I don't know. Okay, new wing, new motor. Weather is smooth but windy. I'm gonna gain altitude because that's where it's safe. So here's the full throttle test. Smooth, man. So, here's what I'll say. The throttle, again, this is not a wired throttle. It's just like an RC throttle. Um, I'll say it again. It's all just test test hardware. It's not going to be like this when they actually uh, put it in production. But, um, yeah, it's super, super sensitive, the throttle. I mean, the first sixteenth of an inch travel you've got you've got power but what's cool is we let off the power 
and uh, it goes completely silent. It's very quiet. Very, very low vibration. The only vibration you have, obviously, is the prop. And yeah, man, it's super smooth. Another thing you don't usually have to think about on a paramotor is dropping your throttle because <laughs> they're connected to the paramotor, but um, this one is not, so. But cool, man. It's actually not bad up here. They were talking about a layer at about this altitude that was really gnarly. I'm not feeling it. Oh, God. So sensitive. So sensitive. Um, and also, I've not flown a Viper, six, Viper 4 16. So I've flown a Viper 3, and uh, I was not a fan of it at all. But uh, this thing is on fucking rails, man. It's... Uh, I don't know, compared to the Freeride 16, I think it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more responsive. I gotta be really careful to stay over the airport, actually, over the LZ, rather, because I don't, I don't know what would cause this to die, but there are a couple things that can happen. One, you can lose your battery for the actual motor, and this test bed version is using an actual receiver. Um, so, that receiver battery can die as well. And you have batteries in your throttle that can die. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that can die. If it does die, not a big deal. If your motor goes full throttle, uh, you just ride it out until it dies, and then slide back down. If your motor dies, you just slide back down. So those are really the only two things I'm worried about, but in either case, it's not a huge deal. So I'm going to hang out upwind of the LZ. This is really cool, man. Shout out to Ross for letting me fly it. He's been working on this. But, uh, yeah, first electric paramotor. <laughs> that was bad. So cool. Let's go throttle off. Yeah, it dies. Some other things about this. So I don't know much about it, um, but... It does run off of uh, electric lawnmower batteries. So it's got four of them in there. They're just the standard lawnmower batteries you buy at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. Charge them up, plug them in, good to go. And yeah, there's, there's no net on this uh, particular frame right now. Which, okay, there we go, I'm out of throttle. It's dead. So I'm gonna hold it until it dies. Okay, we're out of power, so. Yep. I can't. I can no longer climb, so it's it's dying now. I'm gonna start setting up for landing. Oh yeah, I was saying there's no net, no net because there's no cord. I haven't put it on yet. But um, yeah, it's completely dead now. So I'm gonna line her up for landing. I've got a decent headwind. I think I'm lined up pretty well, actually, right now. And no one should be using this runway, because that would be pretty, pretty cross. <laughs> Dude! That was cool. Really cool. And you're right, man. When it dies, it's just like, I can't climb anymore. <laughs> All right, hang on. Hands off throttle. Hands off throttle. Tails out. Here, check. Here, quick check. Okay, good. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> it's like, I can't climb anymore. <laughs> That's a cool feeling, man. It's dead silent, man. You let the throttles exist. Like, it's really cool. Really a cool feeling. Zero vibration. There's barely any torque, to be honest with you. Um, and yeah, the wing is fun, but I wasn't really testing the wing out. I got a couple wing overs in, but that's a fun wing too. Have you flown a Viper before? I flown a Viper 3 and did not like it at all. Um, but it was kind of older. It might have been worn out. I don't know. But I've heard the Viper 4 was a pretty big improvement over the 3 anyway. But this is that wing is awesome. And it is lifty as shit. <laughs> you see, dude, I turned like 90 degrees when the wing came up. I, the wing came up and just turned into I'm the like, wind. Oh, crap, going right for the golf cart. I saw the golf cart. I was like, I was ready for it. I was like, I'm just going to either kill right before or 
make it around it. And then I, I thought it was well out of the way. As I cut, cut through the runway lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little sketchy, Ready but I was getting this thing off the damn ground. And I was determined. <laughs> I really wanted to fly it. So cool, man. So yeah, that's it. Paramotor flight or electric paramotor flight. Thanks, Ross. Yeah, glad thanks, you had fun. thanks, Jeff. No problem, man. <laughs> thanks. Radio. Master arm. And there's no need to run it up. <laughs> you don't need to warm it up. Oh, it's going to crack the exhaust. <laughs> yeah. This is Vitarazzi's solution to their cracked exhaust. They're giving up completely. Yeah, the throttle's punchy. Yeah, it's more of just like getting it out of the way. All right, so we've got Johnson trying out the electric guess, paramotor now. Yeah, Spider 22. Before it goes to the shutdown right now. Okay. Batteries are still warm, so he doesn't have too long. Maybe five minutes. Hey guys, heads up. Hey Jeffs. <laughs> He's at the end of the runway, you're good. Running up on the end of the runway. Cool.